Hey guys, uh, so some people were asking about my setup and uh, what it would look like, so I thought I'd put this video together. So this is what I use. It's a Wiimote with a little cheap gun mount that I bought on Amazon. Now, I have about 50 games that, or 49 games that are working here. Some of these might not work, because I think I might have to tweak some settings, but for the most part, most of these do, and a lot of these older ones, the older the, the, older the games, the better that it the better that they work usually if you get like some of the high-end games the new games like uh, time crisis they don't work they're really choppy and really but this is on a pi 2 as well um also um you can't really see that well but that's my dolphin bar um i have it mounted on the bottom um mainly because like i just i was too lazy and didn't want to get a extender and put it on the top and it just seemed to work better that way so i'm gonna load up a game and uh let's see i'm gonna start with lethal enforcers because that's one of my favorite ones and also okay yeah this is one of the problems too it's not really a problem but it's just kind of annoying um it's very touchy when, when you if you wiggle the the um the wiimote while the setup thing it'll automatically go to this so also you should make sure that your default emulator is on 1.4 admin 1.4 and that's the one that works for pretty much everything but when it loads up, as you can see, soon, see the crosshairs are already on there. The second crosshair will always be there because I have, for me anyway, because I have a um, um, a second kind of a joystick plugged in. But as you can see, the crosshair works. Let's, and also another thing too is I have it uh, mapped to my to a keyboard, so. For this, for the admin one, you hit button five to insert coins, and then one is your start button. So, let's just play this for a bit. Let's see if we can play this and shoot at the same time. The, uh, the reloading thing is a not really that tricky, but it's there's like a certain you, you basically have to do it down instead of um, the side doesn't really work. Crap. Okay. But the uh, okay. But if you go down, like all the way down on the button, you'll see the cursor all the way down. That that reload works. Damn it. But the one on the side, like that doesn't work. Don't ask me why, I have no idea, but that's just the way it is. But as you can see, it actually works and uh, it's actually accurate. More, way more than I thought it'd be. Okay. Damn it. Okay, now I'm getting killed a lot. Okay, jeez, there we go. And uh, yeah. Let's see, let's get out of this, I'll try another one. One of the other ones that works really well is, is Operation Wolf. Um, now this one, you have to do a little bit differently because it's actually, this. I mean, it's set up the same, you don't have to calibrate anything. That's one of the nice things when you have everything set up with admin 1.4, everything, I haven't had to calibrate like anything. I haven't had to calibrate the, the joysticks or the, uh, the crosshairs, I haven't had to calibrate anything but with something like operation thunderbolt on operation wolf and operation thunderbolt you have that extra you have that extra button there's an extra button on the gun you can actually see it in the uh, in the setup Let's see it again you can see it Let's see it moving okay so you see in this setup screen there's that extra button for the grenade um it's kind of too bright you might not be able to see it but yeah there's that button there um, what you have to do is it's kind of a kind of a pain to calibrate the buttons for whatever reason at least it was for me but what I did is I went in and mapped this a button to the grenade because before if you just do it normally when you start the game it uh, it literally goes through your grenades first and, and and it goes through if you don't have anything mapped it just puts the trigger as both buttons basically so all you go through all your grenades first so when you map that then you can you know, obviously choose, choose what? 
I suppose I didn't really do that the first time because they actually got in the frame. I'm very good at shooting stuff as far as camera was. Okay, see, see that. And then hit this button top. See the grenades go off. This isn't actually, I'm actually good at this game, but it's not very easy when you're trying to shoot the camera too. Yeah, make sure you shoot the little bird. Okay. Anyway, that's that. But yeah, it does work really well, and uh, those are just two of kind of the most popular popular games that I have working on here, but yeah, there's a maximum force I still can't get working yet. I think it's a kind of a, um, I think the, the, there's a file, there's like a CHD file that I can't get to work for some reason. Uh, but let's see, I'm just gonna go through the list. I won't play everything, but I'll just, some of these I just got, cause I was just like Alien 3, like I just got that not too long ago. Um, that actually works really well. Um, we yeah, got Bang's an old, kind of an old game. Uh, Beast Busters works well. Uh, Blood Bros, all this stuff, Run to Fight. Um, Bubble Trouble is kind of weird. <laughs> but yeah, uh, all these XD games, like Cheyenne, Chiller, Clay Pigeon, Crack Shot, they're all just these old, um, just basically like Target, most of these are just Target games, like Crack Shot. D-Day is really weird, actually. It's like a old kind of a World War II game. Deer Hunter, I, uh, it's strange. I can sort of kind of get it to work, but it's, it's right at the, kind of the top of, like it's too little high end. It does it does it doesn't lag, but it's I don't know, it's hard to explain. But yeah, there's all these games actually actually work and there's no there's no uh calibration needed. There's no uh you don't have to set any of the, the you don't have to calibrate the gun, you don't have to do anything, but you do have to map some buttons to to games like Letha or Operation Wolf. But other than that, yeah, all this stuff works and um you can just uh find these files and I just have them under a cage just because I have already have MAME and FBA folders but yeah all you have to do is, is load these games up and make sure they're all in um in uh add MAME 1.4 and they all work and uh really well this this one please count too like it it actually works but the, for whatever reason the the actual aim is off of the gun I'm gonna have to look into that but that's that's about it I mean as far as like I thought I have like lots and lots of issues with all this stuff. Terminator 2, I still can't get to work. I don't know why. I, I still gotta tweak that a little bit, but all this other stuff actually works. So, um, I don't know. Now oh, those games are kind of weird, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's about all I got. So I hope this helps, and uh, got any questions, let me know.